I was able to land a clinical informatics job without a master's by following three simple steps. So if you've been thinking that you want to make the transition away from bedside to a clinical informatics or nursing informatics job, you better just go ahead and save this video right now. The first thing is that you got to understand that you cannot do what the average bedside nurse does and get above average results. This means that you need to get involved. You need to be participating in working groups, task force. Anytime there's a new policy or procedure being rolled out, you need to volunteer. And I already know that many of you are thinking, how could I possibly get more involved in anything else when I'm so tired, stressed and burnt out? The reality is that while all of those are very valid reasons to keep doing what you're doing, you're not going to get something new out of your career by continuing to do what you've been doing. And when you follow step one, which is getting more involved, then you have things that you can list on your resume that you've been able to help achieve. For me, I got involved in quality assurance and was also a super user and just volunteered for every possible initiative under the sun, which meant that I had so many things to list on my resume in terms of how I was already making a difference. And then once you've done that, step three is to just leverage the power of who you know. We've all heard it said that it's not what you know, but rather who you know that matters. And nowhere is this more true than in the field of clinical informatics. I'm thinking of doing a master class sometime in the next few weeks about how I made the transition successfully. If I did, would you attend? Let me know down in the comments.